Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here. Uh, we just got done with a 9,300 mile coast to coast ride for the Alzheimer's Association. You can follow us on Instagram at Jay's Big Adventure. Jay's the furry one. And what we're going to do today is install a Denali sound bomb, which is an air compressor driven horn that is super, super loud. Uh, to do this, we're gonna have to take off the upper and lower bodywork. And to do that, we're gonna start by removing a whole bunch of screws. This one, just this one, you don't need that one. These guys, there's one here. I'm gonna take this trim panel off just because it makes it easier to deal with. And then we're gonna come along the inside of the bodywork. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. There are two under the bodywork, the front and the back. You can see this one in here. It's right in here. One right in there. And the one that I couldn't find was this guy. So don't forget to get that one loose. And you have to do a little bit of fiddling to get all the bodywork off. But once the bodywork is off, there's actually quite a bit of room. And then what we did is we installed a relay right here. And that relay gets its power from the ABS power line that feeds into the back of the ABS pump. What I did was I just shaved some of the wire off. I'm sorry, some of the insulation off the wire then soldered this big power lead onto that and it goes through the fuse block right there, thanks Jay, and goes to the relay. And then the power for the relay comes, goes in the yellow connector, comes out the blue one, and it ends up going to the bottom of the compressor, which is here. And this is just ground. So ground for the compressor and ground for the relay, I just tied into this mounting screw right here because this piece back here is aluminum. That's, that's the frame, that's ground. And then the green wire, and sorry for not having this to, to be color coded properly, but that's the wire that I had on hand, ties into the horn connector, which is here. I'm afraid that's not gonna be very easy to see, but the horn connector is right there. I just used a, G, a 3M splice connector. So this is the signal to run the relay. It goes into the relay here. Power from the battery gets turned on and goes to the horn relay. Power goes in here, the compressor fires up, and it blasts a whole bunch of air into the horn, and it works really, really well. I doubt if I will get cut off again, and Jay says that's a very good thing. Jay, you ready? Here we go. What do you think, Jay? Yep, that's what I thought too. It works great.